Hi, Cheryl Lazar for CBSNews.com. I'm right now joined by Jeff Parsley and Adam Busca. They are the co-founders of the No Hate Campaign, which started back in November of 2008, but has grown into something much bigger since then. Now, tell people what the No Hate Campaign is all about. Well, ultimately, the campaign started in response to the passage of Proposition 8. Uh, we were taking part in the rallies and the protests in West Hollywood, and we kind of just wanted a way to speak out and, and voice our uh, opinion about the decision that was made. And uh, it started with one photo in our living room, like 2 o'clock in the morning, and it slowly grew into our friends being a part of it, and then, you know, other people seeing those photos and wanting to be involved, and, and now we're up to about 6,000 photos. And so what are the photos exactly? All the photos feature subjects with duct tape over the mouth and no hate written on the cheek and everyone wearing white in the same format. It's a different way for everyone to kind of speak out with their own personalities and their different character. Why do you think people have been so drawn to this and you've been able to really grow so much and create this grassroots movement? Um, I mean, I think we were just, it's timing. I think we captured a lot of people's uh, feelings at that moment. They all were looking for some way to come together after the state found a way to tear everyone apart. They were looking for a way to speak out. And I think we just found a simple way, um, creatively, that people could be a part of. And you brought in a lot of celebrities also who've been part of this. Yeah, we have a lot of support from a lot of different celebrities. I mean, it's, it's an easy thing to get behind if you do support it. Um, and, you know, putting their face to it kind of sends a message out to their fans by saying, you know, this is something that I support, this is what I believe in. And a lot of people look up to them. And if they can change a couple minds uh, by publicly supporting equality, then I think it's great. Who have been some of the biggest names? Oh gosh, there's been such a variety. We've had uh, Cindy McCain, uh, Deepak Chopra, Dr. Drew, Steve-O, um, the Kardashians, Kathy Griffin. It's just a variety of different faces and uh, people from all walks of life. When someone sees your photos, what do you hope they get from them? Um, I'm, uh, personally, I mean, I'm hoping they're seeing the symbolism um, behind the fact that, I mean, the fact that Proposition 8 can happen to this group of people here in California, everyone's rights are at risk, if one person's rights are at risk. And it started in the studio, but you've taken it to the streets as well. Yeah, we started traveling with it, we're taking it to other cities, we're trying to get everybody involved. Um, you know, the everyday people are the foundation of the campaign, and we just want to get as many people involved, because a lot of people may think that this doesn't affect them, but when they think about the six degrees of separation, they know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that is affected by this decision. And you even did a march recently. Yeah, one of our more memorable marches is back in uh, D.C. during the National Equality March. It was a student-led protest um, from George Washington University um, to the Washington Monument. For Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Yeah, and we stopped at, at the White House where all the students uh, marched and they ripped off the duct tape and they were out, able to scream at the White House and make their statement and be heard. Now that probably has been repealed here in California, what does that mean for what you're doing? Well, I, th I mean, we think it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction, but there's still a long ways to go. Um, there's still not currently legal same-sex marriage in California. Um, we, there's no definite date of when that will be legal. And, and I think even when it is, that there's still a lot of other states that, you know, have, uh, that don't have marriage equality. There's uh, discrimination in the workplace. There's, um, you know, same-sex adoption. There's don't ask, don't tell. There's people all over the world. They're human. We're all humans. There's humans all over the world in other countries. It's not just a California issue. It's a human right. Definitely. We're going to take the same idea, go to every state or in every city we can, and try to raise awareness and show that uh, this can happen everywhere, and we're going to try to prevent it from happening. And set up and take your photos everywhere? You don't need to just be a celebrity anymore to get your No, it was, it was found on the basis of everyday people, and that's how we're going to continue uh, pushing on. And now, where do you want people to go to find out more information? You have your site, and you're saying that also people can upload their own photos? Yeah, we have a, a My No Hate section on the website where people can, if, if we're not coming to your city anytime soon and you want to show your support for the campaign, you know, you can take your own photo, um, upload it to the website, and, and be a part of the campaign. All right, well, thanks so much for letting me into your studio and talking more about this. No, thank you for being a part of this. We really appreciate the support.